The fourth ceremony of the scrum is called the sprint retrospective. Just like it sounds like, it's we're looking at the sprint and we're looking at the retrospective. Retrospective meaning what did the team do well, what what didn't go well in this last sprint, and what should we improve on. So that's basically what we're trying to capture in this retrospective meeting. And this is a two hours meeting for a four four weeks sprint. And it could be a one hour meeting if it's a two week sprint. So Scrum Master is the one facilitator who sets the stage for the team. Again, creates this safety container where everybody feels empowered to talk about not only the good things, but also some of the bad things or some of the challenges that are happening within the team member or some conflicts that team members have. Now, the next step is gathering data. Like, okay, what happened in this last iteration of the sprint? What are some challenges just that you saw? And everybody will collect data. What happened? You know, what, what can we learn from um, this last sprint? And after everybody collects, okay, these are some of the things that happened in the last sprint, then it's time for the team to generate some insights. Okay, like why did this happen? What happened? Let's learn more on like the depths of challenges or the, or the problems that the team had. And after they have a good amount of insights, they actually decide on how they want to go about and improve that. So this is an opportunity for team to have a learning action plan. So despite of what happened in the sprint, the team members walk out with a clear plan on what they're going to do and how they're going to improve. And sometimes the team will vote on what are the three main things that they want to implement or they want to be mindful of in the next sprint. Retrospective, you're doing it every two weeks or three weeks, and sometimes just asking those three questions, what went well this sprint, what didn't go well, and what should we improve? Those things can kind of get old, and I think it's important for teams to kind of change things up a little, little bit. I've done things like taking team out on lunch and doing a lunch retro where it's a little bit light touch, more of a conversational retro, and we come up with a few, just a few items on how we want to improve. One of my favorite ways to facilitate a retro is to do a sailboat retro. So you just draw out a sailboat and you draw out an anchor. So anchor means what are some of the impediments and you draw out some wind on the top saying that the winds are some of the things that actually help us and you actually draw a shark in the bottom and, and the shark would actually imply those are some of the risk that the team might have. And you actually draw out an island asking teams, okay, where, where is that island? Where do we wanna go in the next few months? How do we want to be known in the organization on what we do and what kind of value we add to the organization? Another example I'll give you for a retrospective is this is a meeting where we are not there as a team to blame on each other. Sometimes things go wrong. If you're working on complex problem, you have to experiment. And whenever you experiment, sometimes things goes wrong. And one of the important things as a scrum master that I did is I actually created that safe space for everybody to come back and to say, what did we really learn? Not to blame the people, but what did we learn from what happened? And what can we do to improve so that these things don't happen? And we make that person recognize the mistake that he made, but it's nothing personal. It's something that we all learn as a team and we move on. 